Hello, Saints. This is Dr. Francis Miles. <clears throat> I'm so excited because today is going to be a prayer marathon like no other. It's going to be so amazingly powerful. So just buckle up because this, is, this could be the day you remember when the law of lift came into your finances. Because, you know, whenever God is about to do something big, he, he, he literally exposes a spirit that, that is behind what you have been fighting financially. So I want you, I'm telling you, wherever you are, you know, I want you to make, make some noise. Let the people know Dr. Mouse is live. Hallelujah. Now, uh, if you can hear me clearly, uh, just type in the comment section. I can hear you, Dr. Mouse. Uh, I can hear you, Dr. Mouse. We want to make sure that you can hear me. Uh, before we go any further, amen. So I want one or two people to just let me know. I can hear you. So type the word, I can hear you. If you can hear me clearly in the, uh, in the feed, amen. I need somebody to tell me. All right, thank you, Chad. I love you. Thank you for helping me out. I can hear you, Dr. Miles. That means everybody else can hear the man of God. Look at that. Well, let me, let me just uh, give a shout out to a couple of people. And then there were some events. There's some things we're going to be talking about. Praise God. Hallelujah. My directors are with me in the studio, so I'm so excited. I'm not by myself. They're manning the back end to make some things happen because we have a lot of ground to cover today. We are about, you know, we are about to, le to release revelation to silence one of the most egregious, deadly, uh, uh, serpentine spirits that affect so many believers, particularly in the area of your finances. But trust me, the Python spirit goes beyond finances, and we will touch all of that, but finances is the major one uh, we want to deal with today. So again, wherever you are, wherever you are, amen, I want you to let some people know, uh, let some people know about it. Hallelujah. I want some people uh, to know that Dr. Mouse is in the house. Amen. He's in the house. He's ready to do it. He's ready to do it. So again, I want you to please like and share. Like and share this, uh, uh, this feed right now. I want people on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. You know, you know how you share on YouTube. You know how you share on Facebook. Make some noise because this, you know, even your enemies will be upset that you didn't tell them about this one. It's going to be so, it's so powerful. So you want to share this amazing feed by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to some people. Amen. Maybe we... Is a director you can th throw on some boards, some different people from different nations. I just want to go ahead. Okay, look at you. Where are from? Calvary greetings from South Africa. God bless you. Masondo, God bless you. Sonia Thomas from, New from the UK. God bless you. United Kingdom. Look at, look at God. Remember Texas. I used to live in Texas. You know, we do everything big in Texas. That's what they say. Okay, praise God. Look at that. Gloria from Mississippi. Come on now. These are my people. Mississippi. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless Germany. I love me some Germans. I just love Germany. The coffee is incredible. The cafe. I mean, you have the best McDonald's that make the best coffee. All right. Connecting from um, oh, Myro Beach, South, South Carolina. Look at that. Denise, God bless you. Stacy from Kenya. I love your first, the first lady of Kenya. She's an amazing intercessor and woman of God. Uh, hallelujah. I just really honor her. Shoba, uh, South Africa is in the house. Look at that. Look at lo love never fails. Lucia, Ireland. God bless you. Look at that. We're all over the world today. My God, from my hometown of Franklin, Tennessee. Diana, look at that. Praise God. Richard Obuku. Now, Richard, I'm coming to Uganda in December, uh, I want to see you. You want to? I want to. I want you to come to my hotel. Jerry uh, 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 Samoya from the Netherlands. God bless you. Parabo, Prabo Prince. My God from India. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Look, Ethiopia is in the house. Don't want to be left out. You know, Ethiopia is in the house. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for you. Well, listen. We're excited. Because today, it's going to be on. God's going to be releasing powerful revelations, powerful insights 
in the Holy Spirit that are going to change your life and my life by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. I want to talk about, but before we go into our, into our, there are two events. I want to talk about back to back because trust me, you're going to be very happy that I'm talking about these events because they are going to be game changers. One of them is the one that's going to be happening tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I mean, I don't, I mean, tomorrow you cannot miss this event. It's only happening on Zoom. So it's called Mastering the Four Winds Mentoring Class. It's going to be the bomb. It's going to be incredible. The reason being that I'm going to be, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be teaching on what is one of my most um, uh, popular messages of all is uh, the four winds. You know, that, that teaching I probably is probably in the 200,000 views because people love it, you know. And so I want to make sure that, uh, um, what is this? I want to make sure that uh, uh, you don't miss this time of the God encounter because it's the only time I'm going to do it. it won't, and even the teaching I'm going to give you tomorrow, you don't end up on YouTube. It's become one of our e-courses. So people are going to have to pay to actually access it. But tomorrow you get it absolutely free of charge. Talk, you know, that's what Jesus does. You know, he blesses you like that. You know, and I want you to, I want you to do that, okay? So do not miss tomorrow. You know, um, do not miss tomorrow and um, uh, what the Lord is going to be doing because you, uh, you have never had a teaching, I promise you, like what you're going to hear tomorrow by the Holy Spirit. You know, um, it's going to be incredible by the Holy Spirit, in- absolutely incredible. You know, and uh, I, I want to make sure that you understand that uh, you know, this is a one-time event. I'm giving you the other time zones for those who are in different time zones. It's going to be 20 hours for people in Southern Africa. That, that's South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, you name it. Those who are in the UK, you know, 19 hours. And then uh, I believe the people in the, U, in, in the people in Europe, some of, some of you, it's going to be 20 hours because Europe sometimes and Southern Africa is equal. But the UK is about 19 hours. Kenya, 21 hours. Uh, for those of friends who are, in, who are in Australia, you know, I, I believe that you know you need to use your time clock on your on your on your what, your time clock on your on your phone to find the exact time so you don't miss it, you know. So you wanna use one, you wanna be able to see what what is one p.m. Eastern Standard Time compared to where you where you are in the world, you know, because I'm in Zambia. And the, the and the change in the daylight servings now America Atlanta, which is uh, Eastern Standard Time, is now seven hours behind Zambia. So thirteen hours. So one p.m. is equivalent to thirteen hours plus seven hours. That's how I get the like, twenty hours. So you're gonna have to calculate what time it's gonna be so you don't miss the Zoom. Let's put it up again because I think this one tomorrow is gonna be big. You know. So again, mastering the four winds. You can just simply t- uh, take your phone. And, uh, you know, and put the, uh, your camera over the QR code. It will lead you directly to the landing page for signing up. It's absolutely free. But here's the kicker. It's all first come, first serve. We are actually registering 1,500 people when we can only get 1,000. So that means there'll be 500 people can get in. It is what it is. The reason we do that is because sometimes we've, we've given away, we've given a free seat to people and then they didn't show up. And then we end up not allowing people who are ready to keep coming not to come in. So we want to make sure that we are overbooked and a thousand, a, a, a thousand lucky people, blessed ones, favored one of God, will end up on that amazing live stream tomorrow. Mastering the Four Winds Mentoring Class. You know, it's tomorrow, November the 18th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for those who are in the U.S. and Canada. You can go to register right now, francismouse.com forward slash four wins. And when you do that, I'm telling you, 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 you are going to be so blessed. This is the, if, there were, if I was charging money for this call, for what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I'll call this a money back guarantee kind of service. Money back guarantee kind of mentoring class because it will be that good. And if I charge $1,000 for everybody who came, none of you would be asking for your money back. You'll be like, no, you know what? I, I didn't even pay now. This is, this is incredible. Because I'm going to change you. I'm going to teach you how 
to work with the four winds like Ezekiel was taught by God to work with the four winds. What each wind does, how to call each wind and awaken it from its house, you know, what it does, what it doesn't do, and what happens when all four winds come together as one. Oh my God, what do they become? That's for tomorrow. And that's why you want to join me. But listen, to end the year right, you want to end the year right. It's been an amazing year, but we want to end it on a very high note. That brings us to a final meeting where I tag team with another apostolic general. I'm telling you, I tell people she's the only female in the world my wife allows to boss me around. Her name is Kerry Souza. My God, she is amazing, loaded with power and the anointing. You know, we are coming together for the last time in the year. You won't hear from us in 2023. After that, we're going to be going into holiday mode. Hopefully you'll be doing the same, but we want to make sure we end the year right. So we thought that we got to be put up on our hands to do a school, unwinding the spirit of Python and Leviathan School of Deliverance. There will be deliverance. Again, this one will be on Zoom only, Zoom meeting, but this one will start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you want to know what time it's going to be. We'll be talking about it. There'll be a trailer, that uh, uh, there'll be a video trailer next week uh, about this event. That's going to go out and we'll make it available to you by the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And by the way, uh, if you are interested in putting uh, this event on your Facebook uh, and you want the graphic, you know, you can email us at admin, admin at francismouse.com. You can email us at admin at francismouse.com. And guess what? We will send you the graphic. You say, Dr. Mouse, I want to put the graphic on my Facebook on my YouTube, on the What You and Katie Sue's that are doing, we will send you the graphic. Admin, that's it. Admin at francismouse.com. So if you want the graphic, we'll email it to you. You can post it on your Facebook or your Instagram. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What a God we serve. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready to receive an impartation, to receive a revelation, to receive a deliverance? In Jesus' mighty name. I hope you're ready because I'm ready for you. I've been praying about this meeting for a couple of days. I'm so excited about this prayer marathon. So we actually get to hit the Python spirit twice, you know, but with Katie Souza, we're going to go much deeper, you know, but today I wanted in the prayer marathon, I just felt led of the Holy Spirit because I'm a prophet and I can hear God talk to me about exactly what he wants me to bring to his children. And this is what he played upon my heart silencing the python spirit over your finances prayer marathon silencing the python spirit over your finances prayer marathon you see your finances are an integral part of your manifestation in the kingdom you see the devil doesn't care how anointed you are if you are broke if you are broke he understands that he put you in the he put you in the prism of of perpetual frustration because much of what you visualize you cannot pay for or you cannot manifest because in the world we live in you know cash is king in the world we live in uh money he answers all things according to the book of uh, of ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 14 money answers all things that's the world we live in okay that's why your finances are important to god that's why the bible has a lot to say about your finances. Not because you need them in heaven, but because you need them in the world called earth. You know, ever since Adam lost the economy of glory, we would never have needed cash. We would never have needed dollars. We never have needed brands. We would never have needed the British pound had Adam and Eve not lost the economy of glory, which was the Edenic economy where everything they needed was in the glory provided for. The only currency to pay for it is continuing relationship and intimacy with God. That was the only price for the, that economy of glory. And, and of course, a perpetual obedience to God. But when they disobeyed God, they took all of humanity out of the economy of glory. And in the need to survive, God allowed us to come up with the monetary system of battering, battering, which became money. Now we know it, you know, and so every country, you have to deal with it. You want to go to, you want to go to do a crusade, you need money. You want to go uh, to send your child to school, you need money. You want to pay your house rent, you need money. You want, so the, uh, you want, you, you know, you want to, you want to pay for your wedding. You found the, you found the miss, you, you found your Ruth. 
and you're so excited, but you can't even do a wedding, a proper one at, that, at best, because you don't have the money to really give a good one. You know, you know all of that stuff, money fam somehow finds itself in that conversation. So you can understand why both the devil and God, you know, care about your money. God cares about your money because he wants to multiply it. He wants to make sure that you, that, 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 that you, he helps you take advantage of the principles of the kingdom, the systems of advantage that are in the kingdom to multiply uh, uh, something as human as money. Because human, because money is not a creation of God. Money is not a creation of God. It's a creation of fallen man. That's why every currency carries the face of the, of the patriots of that particular country. That's why on, on every the dollar note, we have Andrew Jackson, we have George Washington, because these are our founding fathers. You don't see Jesus on any currency because Jesus does not own money, but he owns the anointing, the wisdom that allows you to make it. He owns your life. He owns the breath you got. So he is really involved in your life. But he also understands that there are demonic entities that, that recognize that that's the only way to get you in the world of men. You know, if the devil cannot get you from getting saved, loving Jesus, getting anointed, you try to see if he can frustrate your financial life because then he's got you one way or the other. So that's why God has something to say about finances and, uh, because, and he gives you principles in his kingdom that allow you to what? To give, to give the law of lift, the kingdom law of lift to your finances. The laws of multiplication that are in the kingdom are given to you. No bank can give you what God can give you when you sow a seed, for instance. Because God was looking for a way to give you and I, his children, a, a huge tactical advantage in the wealth game. You know, that's why it's important. And yet, we understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against what principalities, okay? We wrestle against disembodied spirits, okay? And even uh, celestial beings who fail with Lucifer. You know, the devil doesn't like you. He doesn't like me, okay? So if you get a financial breakthrough, you better believe God is involved because the, the way the devil hates you, the way the devil hates me, trust me, he would want us to be dead broke tomorrow, right now. The only reason you got anything is because God is fighting for you. And this revelation is part of how God is fighting for you by the Spirit of the Lord. This is going to be one of those. But today, I'm going to give you uh, an understanding of the Spirit we're coming after before we begin to pray. Because I want you to understand. Now, if, 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 if this subject is a subject you have been wanting to hear, you hear me talk about, I want you in the comment section say, Dr. Miles, I'm glad you are addressing this. Just write those words. Dr. Miles, I'm glad you are addressing this spirit. Write those words. That's your acknowledgement that this is the word message you have been looking for me to release to you by the spirit of God. Just say, Dr. Miles, I'm glad you have. Hallelujah. I'm glad you are addressing this spirit. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I'm going to give you some powerful mysteries from Jesus, from God's word about how to deal with the spirit of Python and completely silence it. Amen. That's right, James. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Look at God. Look at God. Irene. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I'm so there are people there who are happy that I'm, I'm really addressing this because you've been praying about it. You, you haven't understood why you are working so hard. And then there's really very little to show for it, financially speaking, with all that effort you're putting in. I can tell you more than more often than not. Then the culprit is Python. But you have to understand how this spirit operates in order to find freedom from it, in order to find freedom from this spirit in Jesus' name. The good news is the spirit of Python can be cast out. As you will see in the scripture, we are going to begin to use, and I'll, you know, begin to use, I'll give you how it operates, how it operates, amen, hallelujah. Actually, this spirit is a microcosm of the natural Python. It's a microcosm of the natural Python spirit. And so we'll be looking at that and how it impacts your life. And some of you right now, I even see in the realm of the spirit, the Python spirit squeezing your finances tight. You know, if you keep using the word, everything is tight or everything is tight. You know what? You are actually in your own way, 
identifying through your own language that Python is involved in your life. You know, because tight, everything is tight, is not the language of the Holy Spirit. He comes from a, is, is the Holy Spirit, you know, the Holy Spirit rules over a kingdom of abundance. So the word tight is foreign to the Holy Spirit. So anytime you say tight, you are actually describing Python. Now, we're going to be dealing with that right now by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. But it even goes beyond finances. So I will touch even those other areas because I want you to be set free. But remember me and Kerry Sousa are going to go, do a deep, deep, very, very deep, deep, deep dive. Very, very deep dive on this subject uh, in December. It's going to be amazing. But we'll be talking about both Python and Leviathan and, um, and Cobra and other different serpents. You know, you know, we just brought out Python and Leviathan because these are the principalities of the serpent and of the serpent and kingdom. And so we're going to deal with that. Amen. Praise God. Now, let me take you. The, in, I'm going to take you uh, to the New Living Translation. In the New Living Translation, uh, in the Book of Acts, there's an interesting story, and I want to you to see this. So, in the Book of Acts, there's this story. Okay, one day, this is Acts 16 uh, in the New Living Translation. Because I'm going to ask the mouse, does the Bible even address the spirit of Python? Oh yes. Why do you think we got it? Okay, because I you know it's in English, but in the Hebrew, it's even clear because the Hebrew uh, is very clear. It uses Python, where uh, the English language uses divination. But in Hebrew, we, they, they use Python. Okay, one day as we were going to the house of prayer, we, one day as we were going to the house of prayer, we encountered a young slave girl who had the spirit of divination, the spirit of Python. See, that is the, 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 the Persian translation is one of the closest Bibles to the Hebrew. You know, I, I know the guys that, 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 that wrote it, the man of God that wrote it, you know, uh, is in Connecticut, in the USA where I'm coming from. You know, and what an amazing Bible. The Passion, my five, it's my wife's favorite version of the Bible. TPT, you know, the Passion Translation. So uh, he said she had a spirit of divination. The spirit of divination is the spirit of Python. You know, she had earned great profits for her owners. She had great end profits for her owners by being a fortune tailor, by being what a fortune. So all of this was saying the, uh, the 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 administration of the Python spirit. As I said, Python. I'm going to show you. It affects many other areas other than just finances. Even though our broadcast, our marathon, will focus on finances because this is the day of emancipation for finances that have been squeezed to death by Python. You are going to find that by next year, by now, by next month, this time, you'll be re rejoicing and praising God because all of a sudden there will be, there will be a, there will be a flow of finances that have eluded you, many of you for years, many of you for months. You're going to begin to see a flow. That's going to be the evidence. Python in your life because of this prayer marathon was arrested by the spirit of the Lord. Amen. So she was a fortune teller. She kept following us, shouting, these men are servants of the great high God. And they are telling us how to be saved. These men are servants of the great high God and they're telling us how to be saved. Day, and then the Bible says this, day after day, she continued to do this. Day after day, everything that's being said here is about Python. And I'm going to break down some aspects of it and we're going to pray. Because many of you, you are gonna look, you'll be located. As I talk about the spirit, you'll locate yourself. Many of you are bound by the Spirit, are being attacked by the Spirit in one area than finances. So I want you to be delivered, you know, from this thing. Okay? But trust me, when you are carried soon, I talk about Python, and, I, and me talk about Python on December. My God, we're going to go much deeper because that one will be a teaching conference, a teaching school of deliverance versus just a prayer marathon. So in a prayer marathon, I try to stay summarized. I don't go deep. I just summarize it because the purpose of doing it is to pray or to talk. Okay, But I want to give you a context because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's important I give you word because word is what God honors. God does not own opinion. He honors word. That's why I give you word before I give you prayer. Otherwise, it will be nothing. It will be wishful prayers that don't go nowhere. The reason why you follow ministry, you follow me and this ministry and, be, and the emails you send me is because, the, because this ministry under the anointing is making the Christianity faith work for you. Miracles, signs and wonders. Why? Because we know we do not violate the ancient path of the kingdom. 
The word must go forth and then the spirit will confirm the word that has been preached. So, day after day, she continued to do this day, uh, to, to, the, to, to do this, until Paul, greatly annoyed, became greatly what? Annoyed. Turned and said to the spirit. You see, he didn't turn to the girl. He went because all the time he descended, there was a spirit in her, and trust me, the spirit was python. They said the spirit indwelling her. There was a spirit indwelling her. Okay? Indwelling her. Okay? That tells me that there are people, there are relationships. After I pray, there are some relationships God is going to remove out of your life. Why? Because there are some people, they are, they are, they are connection to you. Their connection to you can, uh, if they are, they are connection to you, if they are python dwelling inside of them, their connection to you can sometimes affect your finances. I command you in the name of Jesus, the anointed one, to come out of her now. The good news is they can be delivered. They can be delivered, and we and we say in the in this passage that Python can be cast out. So even before I begin to pray, you need to know Python can be cast out. That is some good news. That Python can be cast out. And the Bible says at that very moment, at that very moment. So you are going to be delivered at this, at the very moment when I begin to pray. But you better get ready at that very moment. I know. I'm carrying a superior altar, okay? I'm a priest in the order of Melchizedek. You know, I know the grace I'm carrying by the Spirit of the Lord for what, for what the Lord has called me to do. So get ready to be delivered at the very moment we begin to pray. The Spirit came out of her. Oh, my God. The Spirit that has been choking you to death, choking your finances to death, is going to come out in the name of Yeshua. When our owners realize that their potential of making profit had vanished, that their owner had vanished. They forcefully seized Paul and Silas and dragged them off to the city and dragged them off to the city square to face the authorities. My God, there's amazing things here. I'm going to show you about Python. Verse 20, when they appeared before the Roman soldiers and magistrates, that means they took them to court, the slave owners leveled accusations against them saying, these Jews are... These Jews are troublemakers. These Jews are troublemakers. They are throwing our city into confusion. Now, this whole story is found in Acts 16, verse 16 to 20, and I use the TPT translation. Now, let me quickly give you a couple of things the Python does, and we're going to begin from the beginning of our, our passage. Now, now, now that I've read it, I'm just going to begin to give you highlights of what this thing does, uh, this Python thing does. Okay, because I want to get it. Okay, so one day, as we're going to the house of prayer, so the Python spirit is a spirit. The first thing the Python spirit wants to do is make you become natural and unspiritual. Well, how? By squeezing the life out of your prayer life. You see, because if you are prayerful, it will be very difficult for the spirit to really squeeze your finances or squeeze you out. you notice that many of you are in trouble financially where they are, they, you have been squeezed out. You're going to find that find before that began to happen, the enemy began to attack your prayer life. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. How many of you, how many of you have been having a difficult time to pray? You want to pray, but every time you begin to pray, you try to pray. I mean, it's like climbing up Mount Everest. You are talking to God who loves you, and you love him, and you want to pray, but it's like climbing Everest. You end up not having anything to say. You lose, you, 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 have, you, know, you lose your thoughts, or your thoughts begin to wander, but the cumulative is that you don't end up praying. If that is you, in the comment section, make the devil mad by just acknowledging that that is you. If I'm talking about you, say, no, man of God, you are talking about me. You are talking about me, Dr. Myers. I hear you, man of God. You are talking about me. Okay? If that is you, if that is you, if that is you, okay? If you, if that is you, then I want to, yeah, that's it. Someone said, that is me. That is me. That's, you know, that is, that's being honest because that's how deliverance begins. Because Jesus cannot heal somebody or deliver somebody who's acting like a, they ain't got nothing going on. No, the, 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 only the sick need a physician, Jesus said. Don't be super spiritual and keep those demons. Let them go. Let them come out of your finances, out of your life, out of your prayer life. You know, you see what I'm saying? So the first thing that Python goes after is the prayer life of the believer. She squeezes the life out of that serpent squeezes. 
the light. Uh, you used to pray an hour. Now it's 30 minutes. Now it's 20. Before you know it, you only think about praying. The only time you pray is when you're in the house of God. Or Python, you know, you know Python is chalked your prayer life. That means that intimacy with God is going. Because remember, in this kingdom, without prayer, all the eternal realities of the kingdom are useless to you. They become even the Bible becomes paper. It becomes paper because only prayer makes alive the eternal life that is in every believer. Without prayer, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get the word to come alive. Prayer is critical to actualizing the realities of the eternal life that you now carry, which is the life that comes from another world. You know, you, la you have the life of angels right now. It's eternal life. But that life requires prayer for it to be dynamic and begin to put into your life the things of the kingdom, including the more finances than what you currently have. But if Python squeezes your prayer life, boy, are you in trouble. We encountered a young slave girl who had a, who had a, a, a young slave girl. So Python is a, is a spirit, my God, hallelujah, is the spirit behind any kind of slavery. That's why, what was the answer of slavery? The, 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 the slave owners who squeezed the very life out of the slaves until slaves would drop down in cotton fields when they were no useful, they were even shot or killed. Man, I'm telling you, you should watch some, what, 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 uh, um, everywhere. Now, now, this is not just in America. Everywhere there has been slavery, the slaves were beaten for every juice of energy when they when they could not produce for the master they were left aside that's python they died with you could see some of them with ribs because they were not even fed properly but they were made to work awkward hours by the slave masters until they dropped dead they got every ounce of life out of them to profit oh the slave master that's still python so python is a spirit of slavery so if you feel enslaved to anything that is choking the life of God out of you, Python is behind it. And so when we pray, you're going to begin to find deliverance in a very powerful. What a spirit, what an evil spirit. You need to know that Python is an evil spirit. There's that this spirit, it, this spirit, even, even though in the world just to seduce people, the Python spirit will squeeze life out of one being to give money to another person. But guess what? Both of them are dying. Even the one who's receiving money from the Python spirit, it becomes, it dies and dies more to God because it's, it's deceiving him to think that, it's deceiving him to think that he never has to look to God. So spiritually speaking, is also drying up because he's getting from an evil spirit what he's supposed to get from the Lord. Python is an evil spirit, but like all evil spirit, thank God, it can be cast out. But it's a spirit of divination. So Python is a spirit behind tarot reading, psychic readings. So every psychic you ever see, Python. If you have ever, if not, I don't know how, I just said this. There are people watching me. The way Python came into your life, you went to, before you knew the Lord, or maybe while you're a young believer, you went for tarot reading. Somebody began to read your palm, palm reading, tarot cards, or you went to see a psychic because somebody told you, they might tell you your husband is going to be, or what your friend is going to be. You know, you are not, you are, you are, you are a baby Christian, or you are not even, you didn't even know the Lord. If that is you, I want you in the comment section, say, man of God, the, the word of the Lord has located me. You need to identify how Python came into your life because by acknowledging the door, you can now close it. So right now, I want you right now to write in the comment section, if I've located me, some of that is me, okay? You went to see, well, before you got born again, or even while you were born again, you got so desperate, you went up seeing a psychic, or somebody began to read, there's a noise, you know, you know, you didn't think any, there was anything wrong with it, but Python was the spirit behind the divination. Some of the word has located me, okay? So whatever you are, begin to repent. Whatever you are, just begin to ask God, forgive me for having sought a psychic. Forgive me even for walking, watching a psychic show. Lord, in television, you know, for, Lord, forgive me. Get, cleanse me by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for allowing, amen, hallelujah, amen. Some of them, when I was talking to a fortune teller, Mary, that's good to acknowledge it. Now you can repent, uh, repent and ask the blood of Jesus to cleanse you for opening the door to Python. 
because we want to make sure Python has no legal right to hold on to you when I begin to pray. In a very short moment, we'll begin to pray. And my boy, we're going to slap around Python and you're going to be delivered by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So people are being identified by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're going to continue with our scripture. Amen. The Bible says that she had earned great profits for the owners by being a fortune teller. So we know, we know this, that Python, uh, whatever money is, Python is there, you know. And, uh, and so, you know, what, uh, so Python is really the spirit that tempts people to get money in illegitimate ways so that Python can have legal authority to uh, uh, control their finances. But we know that whatever Python is, the finances are always attached to this spirit, you know. But when you're a believer and you're not serving the spirit, it attacks you. See, it comes after you, you know, because you're not faith saving the spirit. Because when you become a believer and you say Jesus is Lord, you are actually declaring war on the devil. So if there is an open door to the Python spirit in your life through what you did by going to fortune tellers or because of what your, your forefathers did, going to psychics, palm reading, playing Ouija boards, guess what? Guess, guess, guess what? Guess what? Python will begin to manifest in rage against you for failing to bow your knees to this spirit. And guess what it begins to do? It, if, if, if it does not squeeze your prayer life, it will begin to squeeze your financial life. This, the favorite attack of Python is finances. And it, it attacks, it squeezes your finances in many, many ways. Okay? But, but if you've ever seen a Python, how does the Python kid is prayed? By, it goes around it, you know, you know, and, you know, slowly, puts you know it's 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 it goes slowly and it wraps itself slowly around its victim when it knows it's made an, a circle around the victim then it snaps i mean it's got the most muscle of any snake known to man and it kills its victims by asphyxiation literally it breaks your it literally it literally suffocates you to death. That is the agenda of the Python spirit. It knows your finances are necessary for your destiny. So it starts to squeeze little by little, little by little. You lose a little bit of money there. And then there's more. And there's more. And before you know it, you are being evicted out of your house because rent you used to pay is that you can't pay anymore. Python has been busy squeezing the life out of your finances. If I'm locating somebody right now, that's what you're going through financially. I want you to say, that's what's happening to my finances, man of God. You know, I want you to acknowledge what Yeshua is doing for you right now. Just acknowledge this. You know, hallelujah. Look at that. I mean, just say, that, they say that's me, man of God. I said, that's me, man of God. If that, if, 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 if you are being located, your finances are being squeezed this way. You used to have, I mean, there was a time when there was a flow of finances, and then all of a sudden it's like, like you woke up to a nightmare because Python squeezed, you know, and all of a sudden a contract you thought was coming uh, collapsed. Well, we know we're gonna do it, but we're gonna wait one year, one more year. You know, I mean, stupid stuff like that. What? But I thought you you wanted you just last week you told me you wanted the, you wanted me to to you wanted me to provide, you wanted me to supply these goods. You know what? What are you doing? I just ordered them in Dubai. I ordered them in China. They are coming. Well, we saw Maybe somebody else can buy them. You know, we saw it. We changed our mind. We know your money has already went to China. The stuff is already on the way. You paid that. You can take it back. I mean, what is Python doing? The spirit is squeezing your finances through what looks like no more uh, financial detours. But trust me, life is too spiritual for you to be that mundane. Okay? Life is too spiritual to be that mundane. There is always a, an invisible entity at play. If it's not the Holy Spirit or his angels, you better believe you are dealing with that devil, that old serpent. You know? You know, and he knows. Hallelujah, praise God. And so we want to make sure that, um, you know, you are receiving this by the Spirit of God. Because today, the Lord in His, in His mercy has chosen to help you get delivered from Python. Okay? Now look at this. this. The Bible, she kept following us. She kept what? Following us. 
shouting, these men are servants of the Most High, servants of the great high God, and they're telling us how to be saved. Now, that's interesting. Somebody would say, would think, uh, let's go back. Somebody would think that, uh, somebody would think that, uh, my God, this is it. You know, I mean, why would Paul get angry? Because this python, this led with a divination, at least she told the truth about them. But here's what you, here's what you must understand. That, it, that the word most high God is not how Paul identified his ministry. He was very clear when he preached. He came to speak, to speak in Jesus' name. The most high God was Zeus. You see, you see in the area where, Yeshua, where Paul was preaching, Zeus was also known as the most high God by the people who live in Philippians, the idolatrous Romans. They called Zeus the Most High. So what Python looks like is supporting Paul. No, he's trying to control the ministry of, of Paul and choke it to death by allowing it to, to receive praise from your spirit. When you receive a prophecy, so one of the ways a Python gets into your finances, that's why the, a lot of these false prophets you know, who pay who false prophets, you know, sell water bottles. If you if you get this oil, you know, this thousand dollar oil, this is what's gonna happen to you. You'll be so blessed if you give me a million dollars and I give you this all your oil, this all your oil, blah, blah, blah. I mean, false prophecy, once you bite into it and you don't descend Python, is behind what looks like the word of the Lord. Guess what? You it, that's another way that Python gets into your life is through not descending false prophecy. So this was a false prophecy. The aim of the Python spirit was to control the ministry of Paul. He was literally, um, it's known in, in like, um, the, it was, it was um, co-opting. The spirit of Python was co-opting their narrative, you know, because by saying these are the men of God, what, what the peace pattern was doing, number one, it was hiding from being cast out. Number two, it wanted to take credit. That spirit wanted to take credit for the miracles Paul was doing in the name of Jesus. At Paul stayed silent and left town, people that said, oh my God, my God, that, that woman, that girl is anointed. That girl is powerful. Even those, even those men who came working miracles never did anything to her. Actually, she worked with them. You see, it would have made the Python spirit that much stronger to be able to squeeze the finances out of the people of that region using fortune telling and false prophecy. You know, that's why it's important for us to understand what was happening here. We continue with the verse. The next verse, it says, day after day, she continued to do this. In other words, the spirit of Python is very persistent. You know, it, it, it wants to get you frustrated. It wants you to, it wants to, uh, it wants to annoy you. It wants to frustrate you, your frustrate you, you know, spiritually, financially, you know, and that, you know, that's what that spirit does. And turn and say to the spirit indwelling her, the goodness is this, we can speak to the spirit of Python and command it, how? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua, we can command Python, the Jesus, the anointed one, to come out. Now, that means we can, it can come out of your finances. Amen. Now, by the way, by the way, by the way, I want anybody who right now, you want to be honest, you, you've given money to these false prophets who sell holy water, they sell trinkets in the name of Jesus, they sell it to you. It's one thing to take a prayer, and cloth, a prayer cloth and, and just pray over it and give it to people freely. You know, but when they charge you for the prayer cloth, they charge you for the oil, they charge you for the holy water, and you participated in that, I want you to say, man of God, you have located me because that's how you open the door to Python in your life, and you need to acknowledge and repent of that so God can deliver you today when I pray by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Melissa said, I've done that. Mr. Davis, I've done that. Okay, come on now, begin to repent. Because God, amen. Hallelujah. God is going to deliver you. God's going to do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Man, I'm telling you what a day today is. Power of God. I can feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Sir, you are talking about me. 
my prayer partner introduced me to an apostle who took money from me and asked me to buy and bath with special water. Oh, my God. That's Python. You see what I'm saying? You know, they charge for it. You know, now if they bless the, wa the holy water and they gave it freely, God can use it. Because you can do that. They can bless this water under the anointing. And I've done to people and they began to vomit stuff. So it's not the water. It is that they charge you for it. You know, if they charge you for it, that's Python. You know, that's Python. You know, now if, you know, now if they bless you and then out of your own heart, you want to sow a seed, that is very different. The kingdom we live in is a kingdom where you respond to revelation by sowing a seed into those who communicate the word of faith. The Bible says it in Galatians and the book of Timothy. Do not forget to communicate in, in, in with your seed those who, who teach the word of God. That's understandable. But if they are charging you for, you know, they're charging you. Oh, I got some special dirt. I prayed for this dirt. If, you know, if you send me whatever, I will send it to you. And when you touch it, things are going to begin to happen in your life. Python is coming your way. You might get some money for a little bit, but Python will come with it. And before you know it, Python will take everything else he gave you, you know, because of that spirit. People are repenting right now. You are repenting. You are repenting. You are repenting. You are repenting. And the Lord's blood is cleansing you. Hallelujah. This is amazing. Okay. So we know that we can command the spirit to come out. Let's continue. And then we're almost done. At that very moment, at that very moment, just remember the name of Jesus, Yeshua, when it's being used by the right messenger. And I'm telling you, I'm the right messenger today. Ready, prayed up, amen, sanctified and sanctified, operating in my apostolic God-given ordination. At that very moment when I pray, Python is coming out of your finances, coming out of your prayer life, coming out of your marriage that is being squeezed to death. There's no romance left at all. Nothing but dryness. Python must come out. The spirit came out of her. So just to understand, it's a spirit that can be cast out. Amen? The spirit that looks like a serpent, but it's a spirit. When our owners realize that their potential of making profit had vanished, they forcefully seized Pope and Silas and dragged them off to the city square to face the authorities. When they appeared before the Roman soldiers, and Majesty said, the slave owners leveled accusations against them, saying, these Jews are the truth. So, Python, another one way, another way where how Python, Python uh, 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 squeezes your financial life uh, 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 is bringing against your business or your life frivolous lawsuits. Whenever you see a frivolous lawsuit, Python is behind it. If you don't deal with the spirit of Python, so you, that's how you end frivolous lawsuit. You know, there are many, you know, Python is the one that is buying frivolous lawsuit. And the people of frivolous lawsuit is even those frivolous, you have to get a lawyer, you have to get you, you have to pay money just to prove that you are innocent. That's a frivolous lawsuit. By the time you, they, you are proven you are innocent, you have lost thousands of dollars or thousands of rands or thousands of Kenyan shillings, whatever your currency, thousands of Naira or millions of Naira trying to defend your name when you are actually innocent. They Paul was innocent, you know, you know, but yet guess what? They brought them before the magistrate, you know, so and leveled accusations. So Python, you know, takes money from you by number one, Bring it, uh, uh, one, one of the ways she does that is to uh, this way does is to take is to is to bring frivolous law lawsuits against you where you lose money trying to defend your, your name or your company. The other one is where is where you are, it, it levels slander, slanderous accusations. Whether it takes you to court or not, people are supposed to do business with you, change their mind. Well, we had something. What you said, I, that's not true. No, we had something, and before you know it, you lost your ability to do that business contract that should have come, given you a million dollars, given you $10,000, given you $100,000, given you um, millions of Naira or millions of shillings, they are gone because of a slander. Python is the spirit behind those kind of false accusations. I hope somebody's catching this. Now, if anybody's facing, a, has ever faced a frivolous lawsuit 
or is facing one, I want you to write in the comment section, say, man of God, you have just located me. Write down in the comment section because I'm about to begin to pray. And we're about to begin to pray. Go nowhere because we're going we're to begin to pray in Jesus' mighty and glorious name because God is going to move in a mighty and powerful way. All right, all right, all right. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Look at that, look at that. Hallelujah, my God. Look at that, look at that. Lost over $10,000 from frivolous losses. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You know, God is, you are located. Dr. Miles, you have just located me. That's Natasha and can do. Okay, hallelujah. Um, uh, Maki, you have located me. Look at that, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, amen. But God, if you have been located, God will deliver you. If you have been located by God, the same God who has located you, who will deliver you today by the oracle of the prophet. I'm telling you, this is one prayer marathon that's going to go viral. Make it go viral by sharing with the after this, when this is now on YouTube and Facebook, let it make go viral by going, by, by making some noise. Go all over, go over, go over. Uh, I mean, send it to anyone you know. Send it to Australia. Send it. I don't care who you know around the world. You better send them the link for this. Let, it, let us make it go viral because nobody will be mad that this video went viral than the devil. I want to say this video go about 200,000 views. We can do it. We, together we can do it. If everybody watches this, shares with 10 to 20 people, we can make this go viral. So please make a commitment. Okay, by the way, in the comment section, how many... How many who, who make a commitment to the man of God and to the Lord that you're going to share this feed. You're going to share this video with at least 20 people by just sharing the, the video. If that is you, I want you to simply say, I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I just want you by the spirit of the Lord. I want you by the spirit of the Lord to simply say, make a commitment, man of God. I'm going to share. With at least 20 people. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Cecilia. I appreciate you. You know, it's, it takes destiny helpers like you for men like me to reach the world. So let's share and, and let's spread the freedom. Let's spread the freedom to people who are in the corner of their room crying their, their eyes to sleep. They don't know how to get out of what they don't know. They are being squeezed to death by Python. May this video become the fingerprint of Jesus to, to say your time of deliverance has come and the devil get out of my daughter's life. Get out of my son's life. Get out of my son's business. Somebody is on the verge of suicide because of Python and you're sharing the video could be the difference between death and life. Please make the commitment to share. Denise will do it. Thank you, Denise. At least 20 people. And, oh, Suret will do it. Thank you. At least send 20 people who get this. And those who are watching this video when we are no longer live on YouTube or Facebook, can you please do the same? You are, you are, not, you are watching it after it's no longer live. Uh, and you're saying, that the mouth, I hear you. I'm going to help you get this viral. I'm going to make, help make you get this viral because I want this message message go some of you have got whatsapp groups what if if you took the link on youtube or facebook and you share to a huge whatsapp group that's how we can get this going we can get this over two hundred thousand views i want to see it go over there because i'm so tired of what python is doing to god's children who love jesus i'm so tired of people who died with a broken heart I was talking to a man the other day where his father's finances was squeezed so much, squeezed until the father died of depression, died. I mean, it died of depression because every finances was shut down by Python. I'm telling you, but they didn't know it was Python, you know, but thank God for the spirit of revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, let me tell you something. I, I, I mean, I'm going gonna, gonna to begin to pray. But I want to tell you something. You know, we're, you cannot believe, you cannot be, you, you've got, since, since it's your finances that are, are the main topic of discussion, you want to make sure today by the Spirit of the Lord that you do not end up watching this feed and don't, don't allow, ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, what seed can I sow to represent my finances being turned around against the attack by Python. 
Okay, I want you to think to do that. Okay, and I, and and today by the spirit, by the special grace of God, Amen. By the special grace of God, as you give today uh, as as seed, which will be a point of contact, I want you to dedicate. I want you to call uh, that that seed King's Conference silencing silencing. Uh, not yet silencing uh, King's Conference silencing. Um, Silencing the the Python, silencing the Python spirit, silencing Python. Okay, silencing Python. I want that to be what you name your seed when you come to give of your seed. We want you in the comment section when you when you when you come to give your seed. We want you uh, literally to name your seed uh, King's Conference silencing Python. Okay. King's Conference silencing what? Python, uh, because your seed is going to have a door effect on behalf of the kingdom of God. Your seed is going to have what? A door effect on behalf of what? The kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're going to call your seed King's Conference silencing Python spirit. Thank you. G That's it right there. King's Conference silencing Python spirit. Amen. That's what I want you to call whatever seed you end up sowing. And I'm sure, amen, you can see the uh, the the lower third, you know, that's showing you the different ways you can give into what the Lord is doing in, in this ministry by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so King's Conference, silencing the Python spirit. Why? Because this is about your finances. It's about your, I'm not going to tell you what to do, okay? You know, I'm just telling you that whenever you are asking God to rescue your finances, you've got to be able to sow a, a seed of finances because that's exactly what you want the Lord to rescue from the tentacles of the Python spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, before I begin to pray for you, Get ready. We're going to begin to pray now against Python. Get ready. I'm going to go for this spirit. Um, we're going to break it down and you'll be set free. But before I do this, I want you to watch this video. And I'll be right back because I want to encourage everybody who is in Africa, Southern Africa, uh, where I am right now. I'm in Zambia. We're surrounded by eight African countries. Revelation is what you need. It will be a joyous experience. It will be something you cannot wait to do. See, whatever the enemy fights, it's what he fears the most. This Melchizedek, this, as distinguished from any other person who may have won the title in any way as a prophetic, even as a prophetic allegory, this one that met Abraham, your father, was without mother and without father he's without end of life or beginning of days angels at the beginning of days there's a please seven six times where the bible talks about that god is the judge of all the earth so therefore we're talking about the courts of heaven that is in the spiritual realm not in the natural realm darkness has prophetic backing to express itself in these last days for the light of God will shine on some people. Those people are lights in Him. Focus on the light. Your job is to ignore all this darkness and focus on that light. And it's only a matter of time you find that light growing. The supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. It says he's a rewarder of souls who diligently seek him. And if you say it at the audacity to say, Lord, you say it, I'm holding on to what you said, and you do it for me. But for anybody, you said it, I believe it. A man who does not have intimacy with God will first of all not touch life. And even if he touches it, he will not grow in life. The quality of his life will not be enhanced. 
when a man begins to walk with God closely and in intimacy, his life and his life force begins to blossom. Men and women of wisdom, knowledge and understanding, we have to launch you in the air to war in heavenly places. The war, the battle, the fight. You have no idea, some of you may have an idea, of the battle we have to face. This flesh must die for you to excel in the moves of God. Uh -huh. Then watch how the fruit of the Spirit will show up in your life. Your name be lifted high, hallelujah. We bow down and worship. You reign forever, King of kings. Revelation is what your name. It will be a joyous experience. It will be something you cannot wait to do. See, whatever the enemy fights, it's what he fears the most. This Melchizedek, this, as distinguished from any other person who may have won the title in any way as a prophetic, even as a prophetic allegory, this one that met Abraham, your father, was without mother and without father. Is without end of life or beginning of days. Angels are the beginning of days. There's at least 76 times where the Bible talks about that God is the judge of all the earth. So therefore, we're talking about the courts of heaven that is in the spiritual realm, not in the natural realm. Darkness has prophetic backing to express itself in these last days. For the light of God will shine on some people. Those people are lights in him. Focus on the light. Your job is to ignore all this darkness and focus on that light. And it's only a matter of time to find that light growing. The supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. He says he's a rewarder of souls who diligently seek him. And if you say it at the audacity, if you say, Lord, you say it, I'm holding on to what you said, and you do it for me. But for anybody, you said it, I believe it. A man who does not have intimacy with God will first of all not touch life. And even if he touches it, he will not grow in life. The quality of his life will not be enhanced when a man begins to walk with God closely and in intimacy his life and his life force begins to blossom men and women of wisdom knowledge and understanding we have to launch you in the air to war in heavenly places the war the battle the fight you have no idea some of you may have an idea of the battle we have to face this flesh must die for you to excel in the moves of God. Uh -huh. Then watch how the fruit of the Spirit will show up in your life. Your name be lifted high. Hallelujah. We Kings. Wow, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen, amen, amen. Look at God, look at God, look at God, look at God, look at God. So again, hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen. Get ready to, we're getting ready to pray, but like I said, anytime, you don't have to do it. You can do it at the end of the broadcast uh, as God guides you, but the Lord wants you to sow a special seed into uh, what you're believing God to do with your finances. How much it's going to be, it's up between, between, between you and the Lord, but I'm really sensing some of you. The Lord may talk to you about throwing a Deuteronomy uh, 100, $111 seed to represent Deuteronomy 111. Uh, 
with the Lord thy God shall bless you a thousand times more than you are right now by the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. So listen, we are excited about what God is about to do. So get ready. We are about to begin to pray against his python spirit in Jesus' mighty name. So whatever you are, get ready to receive an impartation as we begin to pray by the Spirit of the Lord. Now, for those who saw the video, uh, I want to tell you that is a conference we are hosting December 6th to the 10th in the Republic of Zambia, a beautiful Christian nation developing very rapidly, uh, moving towards becoming a second world nation, and one day it might be a first, become a first nation. God told me Zambia would one day become that by the Spirit of God. You can come to the friendliest country on the earth, but there's a gathering of egos. Whatever there's a gathering of egos, you know God's going to move in a mighty way. I have assembled some, some of Africa's God's generals and American God's generals who are coming for the King's Conference, which is an acronym for Kingdom Invasion Gathering of the Saints. So if you are in, if you are, uh, if you are in, um, if you if you are in um, uh, in Southern Africa, please drive over. You can go and register at events.francismouse.com. Uh, whether you want, well, if you can make it, live stream the event. We are gonna live stream the event to you, a gift from you to you, absolutely free. Normally we charge for live stream when we do our big uh, uh, events because there's a lot of production that goes into it. But this time we're just gonna sow a seed into my American followers, my Australian followers. My, uh, my Asian followers, my, U my European followers who can make the conference. We have professional stream. We want to make sure that you feel like you are there. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like the miracle of being in the room. So if you can be with us in Zambia, please go there. It's events.francismiles. Events, please. It's events.francismiles. Um, that's where you go. You register at events.francismiles. Dot Francis Miles. Sorry for that. It's events.francismas.com. That's where you register for either the live stream portion of the conference or the live one. You can, it's already open. People are registering. We have people coming from South Africa, Botswana, Kenya, Uganda, Malawi, all that stuff. You know, people flying in from Chad. If I mean, it's going to be amazing. People coming from Nigeria. We have people coming from, from, from America. Washington, D.C., South Carolina. It is going to be a gathering of egos. So if you can join us December 6th to the 10th, please come. And if you're one of my YouTubers, you better hug me. You better come close and tell me I'm one of your YouTube followers or Facebook followers. i love to meet you guys in Jesus' mighty name. Now get ready for prayer concerning the Python spirit by the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. O rabakata rabakande, randa rabakate bosata. In the Rebbe Manda Rabakato Robosat, Maraba Mando Bosaka Rabakande, Marebe Mende Rebbe Kata Rabakando. Father, we thank you and we bless you by the Holy Spirit. We worship you, whatever you are, just praise Him. We worship you, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Manda Rabakate. Just begin to praise Him before, uh, before I take you in the court of heaven, because after we, de after we destroy the legal rights of the Python spirit, then I'm going to pray the word of authority, okay? The word of authority. You see, we have to get the lead. We have to deal with the courts of heaven first because sometimes these spirits have legal rights to be there. I can just go straight because I'm a man of authority and begin to pray like that. But guess what? If I do that before I deal with the courts of heaven, there might be some people get delivered immediately because for them there's no legal rights the enemy has. Python just came against them, but there are people who actually legally open the door to Python, and he has a legal right to be there. And so those legal rights must be dissolved so you can be set free. So that's the, the biblical model, okay? And so we're going to go before the Ancient of Days, our righteous judge, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and make a petition for the silencing and the revocation of all the legal rights of Python in your life. And then we're going to begin to pray. So wherever you are, I want you to pray this prayer. The people in the studio, they're going to, they're going to pray it aloud just so that they can help you. I have a, a, form, a, a feeling of a studio audience praying behind me by the Spirit of the Lord. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the living God. So pray this with me by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I just, I, I'm seeing some people in the comment section. I, I'm going to say it again. Let's put up the notation for the seed. People are asking what they want to write, uh, uh, name the seed. So it's uh, King's Conference, silencing the Python spirit. King's Conference, silencing the Python spirit. Amen. Because your seed is going to go directly into the, the King's Conference in Africa. So not only are you destroying Python in your life, but you are also creating a platform for the kingdom of God to minister to thousands uh, and bring them into a deeper understanding of the mystery of the kingdom. So you are actually getting a double blessing seed. He's silencing Python in your life and still connecting you to a righteous altar that will be raised in Zambia December 6th to the 10th to reach thousands of people because we, they, they, the conference will be packed out in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So that's what you name your seed, whether you are giving by Cash App, you are giving by Zelle, you are giving by Venmo, or it doesn't matter, or you are giving by mail, you are giving by, uh, by PayPal, it doesn't matter. You need to name your seed, or you are going to my website, francismouth.com for us, donate, and you're giving your seed that way. I want you in the, in the, in the comment section of your giving, write in the memo, King's Conference, Silencing Python Spirit. Amen. Because this will be a dedicated offering for silencing Python Spirit in your life and for the King's Conference in Africa. In Jesus' name. Now, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, listen, I, I have no problem with an apostle ever challenging you to sow a seed because I'm, a, I'm an outrageous giver. I never ask people to do what I don't do. As a matter of fact, I don't, I'm not trying to be proud, but, but we probably give than most people alive you know, to the kingdom because we've come to believe in the kingdom. But what I will never do is sell you trinkets because it sell you trinkets, sell you holy waters, stupid stuff like that. that will never happen out of this ministry. We don't need that kind of games. Amen. We just let the gospel be the gospel. You saw into the revelation and God does the rest. But whatever, amen, even, amen, if you, amen, hallelujah. Someone said to the mouse, what about if all I have is one dollar? Saw that one dollar, you know, and put your feather around it for that your widow's might. And God will still do something supernatural, supernatural, because that's where you are, you know, hallelujah. Praise God and God knows that's the truth for you. Amen. Now, I want you quickly now to get ready. And uh, uh, as we get ready to enter the courts of heaven, I'm going to be praying a prayer. I'll be as slow as I can be. Because I want everybody to follow me during this prayer call. And those who come after, I want them you know, to be able to hear everything I'm saying. Say it back to me and release your faith. But remember, I'm just a conductor conducting you in the courts of heaven. But I want you to make the words I say your words before the ancient of days was our righteous judge. When we have decapitated the legal rights of Python, then I'm going to pray by myself and myself. I'm a release of the authority of Jesus that he has given me over that spirit of Python. And in that very moment, he will have to live in Jesus' name. So pray this prayer after me right now. And say this after me by the spirit of God. Say, Heavenly Father and righteous judge. Ancient of days and holy one of Israel. We step by faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, you are the one who provided the redemption. The, the death the burial, the resurrection of Jesus was all your idea. So Lord, if you deliver Jesus for me, will you not deliver me and my finances and my prayer life and my business, my relationships from the Python spirit that is squeezing them to death. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I ask for the court of heaven to be seated. To adjudicate my case. 
and my lawsuit against the python spirit that has been squeezing my finances to death that has been squeezing my prayer life that has been squeezing my relationships and taking the life out of them that has been squeezing my business to death that has been squeezing my ministry to death. I bring a lawsuit before the Lord against this demonic entity. Lord, this spirit will not win because of the authority of the ancient of days and the authority of the courts of heaven that will render a verdict on my behalf in the name of Yeshua Jesus, in the name of Yeshua Jesus. Who, paid the price for my who paid the price for my redemption and my deliverance, and my deliverance. From, all oppression. from all demonic oppression. Heavenly Father and righteous judge, Father and righteous judge. Yeshua said in Matthew 5.25 Matthew 5, 25, that when you are on your way to court, you court agree with your adversary Lest your adversary deliver you to the judge. And the judge delivers you to the officer. And the officer throws you in prison. Heavenly Father and righteous judge. I recognize I may have some things in my life that are in common with the python spirit. That gives the spirit the legal right to stay. So Lord, I repent. repent. Number one, for any of my forefathers forefathers who consulted fortune tellers and opened the door to our bloodline to Python, to to rule and reign. reign. Lord, I repent on their behalf behalf for their transgression. transgression. They did not know what they were doing. doing. May the blood of Jesus speak over my bloodline and bring forth cleansing and close this ancient door to Python that was opened by my forefathers in the name of Yeshua Jesus. I repent, Lord, for any time I have thought, I, I sought fortune tellers myself, consulted mediums or psychics who promised me wealth. I'm asking, Lord, that you forgive me. I did it in ignorance. I did it in ignorance. And opened the door to Python. But Lord, today, I repent. And may the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, speak for me and cleanse me completely. Anything I have in common with the spirit of Python, May that commonality between me and Python be erased by the blood of Yeshua as it washes me whiter than snow. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, Heavenly Father and Righteous Judge, Heavenly Father and Righteous Judge, even legal rights, Python may have may, may have got from my from my for my not living a life of tithing. I'm asking God you give me the grace of tithing. And any legal rights given to the enemy be removed by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, now that every legal right that the python spirit was holding on to has been removed by the blood of your son Jesus. I move on the court of heaven to dismiss every char- all the charges, all the accusations against me by the accuser in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let them be removed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mother name. 
Heavenly Father and righteous judge, I now ask for a divine restraining order to be released over my life against any further operation of the python spirit in the name of Jesus. A divine restraining order enforced by the Holy Spirit and his angels in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I also petition the court of heaven for a recompense. Let there be a restitution of finances stolen in my life by Python. Let there be a restoration of relationships squeezed to death by Python. Let there be a restoration of businesses squeezed to death by Python. Let there be a restoration of a prayer life squeezed to death by Python. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I now receive your verdict of release by faith in Christ Jesus. I heard the Lord said, it is done. So wherever you are, as a matter of fact, before I begin to pray for you, I want you to type in the comment section, hallelujah, with exclamation point. That is your hallelujah shout. And wherever you are, you can even shout loudly, hallelujah. You can do that, but type in the comment section, hallelujah, as your way of giving God the praise digitally, virtually, for what he's about to do. That's it, Monica. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, Chess. That's it, Kaye. That's it, that's it. Come on, Shimiku. That's it, that's it, that's it. In the Holy Ghost. Come on, Jodia. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a God we serve. My God, everybody's saying hallelujah all over the world by the Spirit of God. Now, I'm going to pray. Some of you may even begin to cough. You may begin to feel uh, 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 wateriness coming through your eyes. That's going to be forms of deliverance. You may begin to yawn. You may begin to, you know, uh, shake, shake as the deliverance begin to happen right now. But I, I want wherever you are, I want you to have something that represents your finances if you can. If you have a credit card or you have a wallet or you have a purse or you have cash, hold it as a point of contact as I begin to pray by the Spirit of God. If you don't have it, don't worry. God will catch you. God will, will locate you. But if you have it, it's good, it's good to be able to touch it right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I step into my apostolic authority that you have given me as an apostle and a prophet to the nations. And I said, by the road you have given me, the road of a superior priesthood, the order of Melchizedek, Randa Karyanda, Mareba Kayande, Lende Maremu, I command Python, come out of their finances right this moment. Come out, 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 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Python, I command you in the name of Yeshua, the son of the living God, your spirit of divination that has been choking their prayer life, that has been choking their finances, has been choking their relationship, been choking their business. Come out, out, out in the name of Yeshua, the son of the living God. I command you to unroll your serpent and spirit. Unroll in the name of Jesus and let go of their finances. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the fire, 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 fire in Jesus' name. There will be so much fire around your finances. Python has to go in the name of Jesus. Just like, like, just like the, the Apostle Paul, uh, the viper that, that bit him. He took it and the Bible says he threw it in the fire and it got burnt by the fire lord right now prophetically speaking i take python by the by 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 the head and i throw that serpent and spirit at the foot at the fiery fate of yeshua i throw python at the fiery fate of yeshua to be bent by the fire of almighty god by the fire from the altar of god in jesus name for the god that answers by fire. Let him be God 
Let him be God. The God that answers by fire, fire, fire. Let him be God as Python lives now. In Jesus' name. There's somebody who's vomiting. There's somebody who's shaking right now. There's somebody actually who are, who's on the floor. You are being delivered right now by the Spirit of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. My God, there's somebody. I mean, you are feeling a tingling sensation all over your body. That is the power of God delivering you from Python by the Spirit of the living God. Some people, you are just coming out. You are being delivered. Some people, your eyes are watery. You can't stop crying. You are being delivered. Some people can't stop yawning. In Jesus' name, you are being delivered. Python is living. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command everybody, I command anybody, Watching me was fed, was fed demonic food in a dream that attracts python. And from that time, when you dreamed you are drink, you are eating something in your dream, you are actually eating your finances. And that what you are given in the dream was the food that attracts the python spirit, was a demonic program that attracts python. I command you to vomit it out, out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you get an anxious to vomit, just let it go. God is delivering you in the realm of the Holy Ghost. By the road of a superior priesthood, I declare that you are free. By the God of heaven, I declare that you are free. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. I release the law of recompense. And the anointing of recompense upon your life. I declare by the decree of the Lord. The law of recompense is activated over your life. Recompense. Restitution from heaven is being released over you. Restitution from the Holy One of Israel is being released over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is so much power. That is being released right now. There is somebody here that the sickness you suffer from, the shortness of breath, is python. You've gone to the hospital because you'd have, sh you'd have shortness of breath attacks. I'm seeing you being rushed to the hospital. But when they go and check you, there's nothing wrong. But, but, but then you have another episode. You can have a breath. It's python wrapped around your chest. I say, go and be healed. Mandaraba. Python, go and wind. In Jesus' name, your lungs are okay. You are beginning to breathe. Begin to breathe in and out. Those who couldn't breathe properly, those with asthmatic conditions, because python is banned asthma, or asthma and tuberculosis is python. Right now, those with TB or, or asthma, you, are, you, have, you have inhalers. The Lord is clearing your lungs. A python is unwinding around your chest. You'll be able to breathe normally from this day forward by the word of the Lord. Kandara mande, mandara bakande, hirabaka, yeremoka, sarabakando. Receive this anointing. Receive this grace. Yes, Judith is vomiting. So many people, come on somebody, feeling twinkle, tinkling in on my head. That's it. That's a yawning and crying. There's massive deliverance happening all over the world. That is the very superior anointing and authority on this feed. That is the superior grace, a superior anointing on this feed. Jesus, the deliverer, is setting you free. Sharp pain on the left side, Makamon of the tummy. I'm, you are being delivered. Mandaraba, yawning and crying. Mandalaba, Koda, that's Linda. Rakarebu, Shandalaba, Maka, Indaba. Dry, dry hips and spitting. That says, Christian, receive the anointing. Christian Cookers, come on. One of my partners, receive the deliverance. Marie Marcel, tingling all over my body. That's the power of God. Holy Ghost, get them, Holy Ghost. Man, deliver your people, Holy Spirit. Whatever they are, they have suffered enough. They have suffered enough, and the devil has, and the devil has stolen enough. Make him pay for what he stole. Make him pay. I release the law. I receive. I release the law of restitution and the law of recompense. Mandaraba, as an officer of, the, of God, here on earth, nothing happens in on earth unless unless and nothing happens unless we speak and then heaven responds. Lord, I've spoken and therefore, Lord, you shall perform it. 
Lord, I gave you the permission as an officer of the kingdom of God, as an ambassador of the kingdom, as a priest in the order of Melchizedek. I gave you the permission, Holy Spirit, to use my words as an excuse to deliver your children, to give them recompense, to give them restitution, to give them restoration. For the Bible says, none cries, restore, restore. Lord, I'm crying on their behalf. Restore, 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 restore. I cry restore in the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua Jesus, the son of the living God. My God, the power is so strong. Jesus. Jesus, something unwinding on both my legs and belly. Can you imagine that python is living? I told you immediately in that very moment, the same anointing that was on the apostle Paul when he rebuked python on that little girl in Acts 16 is the anointing the Lord has put in my lips on my mouth. So it has to go. Python has to leave you in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you. Let there be a fresh wind of restoration, a fresh breeze of the Holy Ghost into their life. Winds of restoration are coming forth. In the name of Jesus, I command the north wind to blow its breeze of provision over you. Let there be promotions. Let there be breakthrough in your finances. Right now, man that Irene have yawned so much because you are being delivered. You are being delivered from Python. Vomiting, coughing, tears, mucus, deep belch, back stiffness. I'm telling you, that's because, I mean, that Python is scratched. Some of you have been feeling like, you know, your back, your, there are people who have been having back, back. It's not back. It's because when you have cut, Python has weight. See, just like natural Python, if you are cutting a natural Python around your body, you'd feel the weight. So your back will begin to hurt. Or you you begin to pay, you 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 are you're gonna you have a difficulty breathing. Listen, these are spiritual serpents. Yeshua spoke about them in the book of Mark 16. They that believe in my name, they shall cast out serpents. What do you think he was talking about? They are spiritual serpents because if they are natural serpents, then they have to be spiritual because the spiritual is the first world God created before the natural. So if you see the natural, it's pointing to something similar in the spirit world. Hallelujah. What a deliverance. Someone said, I've been vomiting. I know. My hands are burning. That's fire. My God. Burping three times. Come on now. That's God. Bacteria coming. Bacteria coming out of my throat. Whoa, that's deliverance. There's massive deliverance happening right now. Spreading, choking. Because I, I feel the anointing. I feel the power. I feel tingle over my body. Come on, Christy. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. My God. My God. My God. Marriages almost choked to death. They are come alive. Romans almost dead, choked to life to death. Your husband will say, let's go on a date. And he'll shock you. Take it. Don't try to bring up, well, don't bring up those issues. Women, sometimes you can be your own worst enemy. When the man is turning, you want to bring up issues of yesterday. Receive a new page. Because Python has come out of your marriage. He was choking Romans. And he's coming back. Receive it. Kutarama Kabo. Lende Rebo Ka Shabo. Rebo Shaka. Ah, sharp pain on the right side of my bed. Gone now. Look at that. Excessive saliva on my mouth. Deliverance is happening. Weight falling off my body. That's because Python just left and the weight he put on your body is going with Python. In Jesus' name. Well, listen, this is well a good time to talk about what, I'm, what me and Katie Sue are going to be doing again. I think this is perfect. We, let's throw it up there. It makes sense. Listen, you cannot miss our my school. Now you see, can you imagine this is just a prayer marathon? This is not even the school of deliverance. It's just a prayer marathon. Imagine what's going to happen when you give me and Katie Sue four hours of teaching. We're going to teach and then we're going to pray. So it's going to be a four-hour session. 
that you're going to be you're going to be getting four hours of me and Katie Souza dumping on you all that we know about these two spirits especially but we'll be adding other spirits other serpentine spirits and so we're going to go beyond python and leviathan but they're going to be the main one we handle unwinding the speed of python and leviathan school of deliverance this is a school because we want to we want after you get delivered we're going to impart the anointing of deliverance that's on me and Katie Souza on every student so you can be the one doing these miracles and doing these deliverances in jesus name you know what's so sad most of this Mambi Pambi user friendly church, thousands of people, they just teach simple messages like the five steps we knew you, God loves you, they never do deliverance. That's why we have good thousands of people who are suffering because some pastor doesn't know deliverance or is afraid to, to, to teach the ministry of Jesus. I am not ashamed of Jesus. If my Lord cast out devils, if he dealt with serpents, I'm going to do it. Till the day he calls me home. So is Katie Souza. So join us for that amazing, incredible class on the 18th. Go and register. Go and register at idosrio.com. You know, praise the Lord. So again, let's put it up one more time so people can take pictures of this if they want to. Okay, that's it. Take a picture or you can put your, your, your thing on the QR code and it will take you right where you need to go and register for for I'm gonna tell you in advance it's it is there's twenty five dollar registration fee but you have to ask yourself I mean come on now if this was a movie you'd be you'd this is a school of deliverance I mean you go to primary school you you pay school fees because teacher you honor the teachers listen we're gonna teach you things that will release millions of dollars or millions of nairas millions of shillings that have been stolen from you so if you think you are worth twenty five dollars Amen. Come on, somebody, then you go there and register. That is going to be for all the thing we'll be giving you. The tuition, it's a school. It's only $25. Okay. Get it from somewhere. Borrow if you must. Okay. Do something. But join us. It's going to be a, a life changing time of the God encounter in Jesus' name. Now, tomorrow I'm doing something big, something big, and it's absolutely free. I'm going to have a master class like no other. I've never done this masterclass before. But once I do it, we're not releasing it on YouTube or Facebook. So don't think if, oh, I'm going to find it. No, we're going to release it on my e-course platform because we are trying to, we are, what we are doing is we are, you are giving it for free only one time. So you can jump in for free on Zoom with me. And then we're going to record the show together. And then when it's done, it will become an e-course where you can go to school. We have, we have modules. We have we're gonna have student manuals. It will be all online. Our, our there will be there will be some Q and days where I can answer Q and days for you. We meet online. It's gonna be beautiful. But tomorrow, one time only, you get it for free. How do you go? You do it. Mastering the four winds mentoring class, November eight, uh, November eighteen, which is tomorrow. That is what other time? That is, amen. What that that is one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those who are in Canada and the USA, not actually not USA. That's not USA has many time zones. For those who are in who are in Atlanta, so USA has three time zones. So for those who are in, who are in uh, the East Coast, it's 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. For those who are in Central Standard Time in America, it's going to be 12 noon. For those who are in California, PST, it's going to be 10 a.m. in the morning. So you need to find what your time is. Okay, for those who are mountain standard time, like Arizona, it's going to be 11 a.m. But for those who are in Africa, amen, I think we have the time zones in among, among, among the banners. For those who are in Southern Africa, you know, you have different time zones that you need to be aware of, that, uh, that you need to be focused on. So for Southern Africa, it's going to be 20 hours in the evening. A UK, it's going to be 19 hours in the evening. Kenya, 21 hours in the evening. Amen. So I believe even in Nigeria, I believe Nigeria is on the same time as the UK. So Nigeria and the UK is going to be 19 hours. You don't want to miss the matter in the four winds, the east, the north wind, the, the south wind, the east wind, the west wind. What, you know, how to arouse them out of their houses, how to command them, what each wind does for you, why the witches and wizards manipulate the four winds because they know christians are so blind so heavenly minded no earthly good and so we're suffering evil winds 
destroying our lives or delaying our destiny because we don't know how to command the four winds. Tomorrow, that could be the end of it in Jesus' name. Now, somebody asking, Dr. Miles, where are you right now? I am in Zambia. How can I meet you, Dr. Miles? How can I find you? Well, I've got a church. If you're in Zambia and you're looking for a church where you can get this type of meat and revelation and anointing, why don't you try it? Maybe you're going to some dead church where they're just doing that nothing but fighting, nothing is going on. Why don't you join us at Dream Genesis Church International? That's the name of the church. The dream is to return all our members to a lifestyle of Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2 before the fall of man. You can come and visit our dynamic and life-changing church at, at, at every Sunday at 9 a.m. Zambia time, Mulungoshi Conference Center in Lusaka. So if you're in the Zambian and you are following me, you don't know I'm in the country. Now you know. I'm in Zambia right now. So this Sunday, I, this Sunday, I have a very powerful uh, teaching I'm doing that will blow your mind. Will blow your mind. So you don't want to miss that teaching. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we can put up the ways of giving. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as we come to the end, some of you may not be able to have, you know, everybody has got good eyes. And so I want to make sure that if you cannot see the scrolling lower third, but you want to saw it, God is talking to you to commemorate this day of encounter and deliverance with a special seed of deliverance. Ways to give. So we are giving by cash up. You can see where all, everything is right on screen. What you, how, you, how to give to this ministry, even test to give. But just remember that when you do it, when you do it, you need to be able to uh, write on your seed that King's Conference Silencing Python Spirit. So that's the memo. That's how we know because you're op they're offering your gift today, whatever God tells you to give, you know, and, 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 and don't run away from the Lord if he tells you to give a, a sacrificial seed. Maybe he tells you to give a $1,000 seed. Maybe he tells you to give you $10,000. I don't care. Well, I mean, God has given me to give me some big amounts. They were sacrificial, but God knows what it takes for your type of destiny to really go to create incredible heights, let the Lord guide you. Um, but I'm, gonna I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do. But I can tell you this, whatever you do is, is a double blessing because you are sowing into the King's Conference in Africa. Okay? In the King's Conference in Africa, it's we, we, they're, 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 we are in an international conference center, massive one, costs a lot of money, but we're not charging a dime for people to come. We want to disciple the African continent. People are coming from other places. So if you have a passion, there it is right there. Amen. You can see the assemble of speakers we have. So when you sow your seed, you are sowing into these men and women discipling thousands of people for five days. It's going to be amazing. And then you're going to get the live stream for free yourself, whether you're in Kenya. If you have a live, if you have an internet connection, you'll be with us at the King's Conference. I can promise you that in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, all you need to do for, for those who will be live streaming is simply go to events.francismas.com. But for those who, want, who, are, who are in Zambia or anywhere in, um, you, in, uh, uh, in Africa want to be there live, I hope you're going to be in the room. You can see the number on your screen. You can call the number. Uh, uh, you can call plus 260-975577-7180. So plus 26. 097-557-7180. Uh, uh, you can call to register by phone. Even though it's free, everybody must register by phone or by texting your full name and with the message, I'm going to be there. You know, then because we are creating a database. So when you come to the day of the conference, there will be, data, there will be a, a, a registration table you have to pass through by the Spirit of God to get... Uh, uh, as you come into the conference, it's going to be a powerful time of the God encounter. It's going to be amazing in Jesus' mighty name. Since I'm telling you, there's been so much testimonies today, so much testimonies. I'm so excited. Wow, I can't wait to see many of you tomorrow. I'm seeing some of you saying, I've already registered the mouse. I'm going to be there for uh, uh, mastering the four winds. You know, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amber says we're going to be watching a King's Conference. Yes, you better watch it because it will be so anointed. 
It's going to be amazing. Some people will be coming to it in real time. You're going to be in the room with us. It's going to be amazing, 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 amazing. So I'm so excited again. Wow, I'm so excited. So many miracles today. Listen, saints, um, you know, wow, you've stayed with me for almost two hours. Look at that. I'm just so excited. My studio audience has also stayed with me. But they are captive audience. They have no choice. They're helping me out. But thank you for staying with me. But you know why you stay with me that long? It's because you are getting something. If you're not getting anything from my ministry, it was wasting your time. You don't, you do not spend this kind of time with one man. So what that tells me is that the ministry is touching you. We are doing something right by you. And that's all I care about. To do something right by you and by the Lord. So when I come before Jesus, when I put off this body of flesh, he can say this to me. Well done, my good and faithful servant. That's all I want. You know, I don't want, I don't, you know, that's all I want. I'm not hustling to be famous. I'm not hustling, you know, for anything. I just want to love Jesus and do, his, do right by his people. That's why I'm one of the few ministers out there uh, who come to, who, who spend so much time praying for the people who are following them and uh, over the different things they are fighting with. Not just teaching, but praying like this. Because there's a lot of great teaching on my YouTube channel that you can bless you. But sometimes you need a prayer marathon to pray you through some things. That's why I'll never stop doing this. And thank you for your love and appreciation. I so appreciate you. Now, by the way, uh, I want to just say this, that every Saturday, actually every Saturday, our ministry has a, has a Shabbat service because I spearhead a church, an online church. Most people don't know I'm also the pastor of an online church. The online church is called Francis Mouse Church Online. Francis Mouse Church Online. And so you can actually find out more about it by going to Francis Mouse Church Online.com. Francis Mouse Church Online.com. If you can go to that, you'll find out more about this amazing church. We meet on Zoom every Shabbat, every Saturday. Absolutely, absolutely for. I mean, it's a free service. It's a church. There's no, it's a free service, of course, because it's a church. It's a not a church. We do worship service. Then we do small groups. We do communion. I mean, it's intense. It's beautiful. So I, I want to show you the credentials you can use. Maybe you can take a picture. I'm going to give you the credentials right now. So let me just get these credentials. They are always the same credentials so that um, you never forget them. Okay. These credentials are the ones that you can use anytime uh, you are, uh, anytime you want to join us. I'll show you the meeting ID, the Zoom meeting ID, okay, and the passcode. I'm going to put it for you so that you always have it for posterity in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, look at that. Amen. My, my media team has already gone ahead of me. They've done it. Fantastic job. So join us for Francis Mouse Church Online every Shabbat. Service at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as well as, as, well as um, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom. Uh, meeting ID is right in front of you. The passcode is always the same. So you can get, an, you can, I'm the one. So tomorrow I'm actually teaching on the order of Melchizedek. You know, we are doing a series as a church studying what is the order of Melchizedek. So if you want to, maybe you want to supplement where you are going. You are not getting enough revelation. You want to supplement where you are going with joy, with being a part of our Shabbat services, our congregational services every Saturday. Then guess what? That is, so that is going to be the service I'm going to be doing tomorrow on Zoom, open to the public. Amen. And maybe some of you are saying, I'm looking for the church to belong to Dr. Miles. I can't find a church in my region. Can you be my pastor? Well, that's how I can be your pastor online by joining our Francis Miles Church online. And that's the Zoom ID. It's always the same every Shabbat service every weekend. Okay. So we want to make sure that you are able to join us by the Spirit of the Lord. So tomorrow we are studying the order of Melchizedek, just in case. All right, saints, I love you so much. I would love to ask, uh, I love you so much. And now listen, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, 
I want you to seriously click subscribe. I'm the director. We're going to end with the King's, Con King's video again on our way out as we end the stream. Revelation is what you need. It will be a joyous experience. It will be something you cannot wait to do. See, whatever the enemy fights, it's what he fears the most. This Melchizedek, this, as distinguished from any other person who may have won the title in any way as a prophetic, even as a prophetic allegory, this one that met Abraham, your father, was without mother and without father. He's without end of life or beginning of days. Angels are the beginning of days. There's at least 76 times where the Bible talks about that God is the judge of all the earth. So therefore, we're talking about the courts of heaven that is in the spiritual realm, not in the natural realm. Darkness has prophetic backing to express itself in these last days. But the light of God will shine on some people. Those people are lights in Him. Focus on the light. Your job is to ignore all this darkness and focus on that light. And it's only a matter of time to find that light growing. The supernatural is a byproduct of the kingdom. And really, it is not the supernatural. It's natural for us because in the Garden of Eden before the fall, it was naturally supernatural. It was called glory. It says he's a rewarder of souls who diligently seek him. And if you say it at the audacity, to say, Lord, you say it, I'm holding on to what you said, and you do it for me. But for anybody, you said it, I believe it. A man who does not have intimacy with God will first of all not touch life. And even if he touches it, he will not grow in life. The quality of his life will not be enhanced. When a man begins to walk with God closely and in intimacy, his life and his life force begins to blossom. Men and women of wisdom, knowledge and understanding, we have to launch you in the air to war in heavenly places. The war, the battle, the fight. You have no idea, some of you may have an idea, of the battle we have to face. This flesh must die for you to excel in the moves of God. Uh -huh. Then watch how the fruit of the Spirit will show up in your life. Your name be lifted high. Hallelujah.